A Denver neighborhood decided it wanted a new name. Students campaigned to have their school called something different. The Central Park neighborhood name exists because of its residents. DSST Montview is the name of the school in Central Park because the students pushed for it. Yet there are brand new Stapleton signs going up in Denver. Our Marshall Zellinger looks at the latest effort to get the name changed. This is Central 70 local street name change. The Colorado Department of Transportation Commission recently took up an issue it normally does not handle. We received a, a letter from the city and county of Denver uh, on April uh, 12th, I believe, requesting a name change. You see, CDOT does not normally name roads, so it doesn't have a process for naming or renaming them. Yet the CDOT Commission approved renaming two roads within the Central 70 construction zone. The name of the street right now is called Stapleton Drive. It's uh, both on the north and south side of I-70. At a time when the name was being removed from a neighborhood, a school, a rec center, a neighborhood organization, it was being added to these new signs. Here's why. CDOT does not name roads, but Denver, where the road exists, can't rename a street the city doesn't own. In a letter from the mayor's chief of staff requesting a name change, Alan Salazar wrote, as the access roads were transferred to CDOT in connection with the Central 70 project in 2015, they are currently owned by the state. According to CDOT's research, the streets have never officially been named. An internal memo from August 1965 from Denver's city engineer read, Considerable effort is required to formally dedicate these frontage roads as city streets, but because of the current need for street names in that area, we've been informally permitting the residents to use the names Stapleton North Drive and Stapleton South Drive. But remember, CDOT does not name roads. The chair calls it as unanimous approval. With no objection, CDOT renamed two roads. Eastbound will now be East 44th Avenue, westbound East 45th Avenue. <clears throat> and my favorite question in stories like these, who pays to replace signs that look pretty brand new as they are? And the answer is CDOT. How much will it cost to reprint or cover up or whatever it takes? Steve, I'm still waiting to hear back on that answer. It usually costs a lot more than what you would think. Signs like that, I know, but you know, we did, we've done the speed limit signs where maybe they can just cover it and I don't know if it scrapes off or you have to put up, like that big one has me concerned. Like you have to put up the brand new one that says, you know, East 45th and Dahlia. And if you were going to do that, why didn't you wait to make the sign in the first, anyways, forget that. Every time I see those speed limit signs though, I think, can people just run over there and peel off the, the label or put a, a, their own number up on top of it? The one on I-25 that says 60 throughout the city, I think if you took it down, it says 55 underneath it. Oh, all right. Well, that's good to know. So they, they bumped it up a little bit. All right, Marshall. Thank you.